One of the new features with Visio 2010 is the Auto Align and Space option. Now it's really important when you select a group of shapes that you actually select them in an order. Now what I want to do is these three shapes here, I want to align them to the top. And it's really this shape that controls where the top is. So I'm going to click this shape first, hold the shift key and click these other shapes. And so the shift key lets me choose these three shapes. And then on the Home tab in the ribbon, in the Arrange group, I'm going to click the Auto Align in Space and I'll remove the selected shapes to space them evenly and straighten up. And so that's just moved my shapes automatically into alignment. That's one option. Now, one of the things I mentioned earlier in an earlier video was to make a copy of a shape. When you make a copy of a shape, one way to do this is to control drag. When I control drag, I can immediately make a copy of the shape and the use of these orange lines tells me I'm vertically in alignment and my spacing between the three shapes vertically there is equidistant. So I'm happy about that. So control drag is an easy way to create a copy of a shape. Another way is to click a shape and press control D. Control D also makes a duplicate of a shape, but then you have to drag it and get it in position. And these orange lines in Visio 2010 really help you line things up easily in 2010. Now the other thing you can do is you can easily insert shapes. Let me create a situation here. I'm just going to drag process out of the stencil and drop it on my page. I might drag another process and put it over here. And using the orange line, I can see that I'm horizontally um, in alignment. Now what I'd like to do is create a connection between these two shapes. So in my Tools group on my Home tab in the ribbon, I'll click the Connector button. I'll then go to the side of this particular process shape and I'll drag to the connection point in this processor shape. And then I'll turn my pointer tool back on. So if you've got a connection between two shapes and then you think, oh, I need a decision to be made between these two shapes, simply grab another shape like Decision and drop it right on the connection line. Snap to Alignment box. When I do that, it's immediately included this in the actual connection between those two shapes. So it automatically becomes part of the connection. If I happen to delete this shape, the connection between these two shapes will then be reinstated. So I just press the delete key and it's reinstated. Another great thing with Visio 2010 is when you start creating large diagrams, if you add shapes outside of the page, it actually extends the paper size. So for this I'm actually going to go to the bottom right of my status bar and I'm going to click Fit Page to Current Window. Now I'm going to add another process shape and I'm going to drag it out to here. And it will automatically size and automatically expand the paper size to include that um, particular shape, which is great when you're working with large diagrams. Now besides the auto align for aligning shapes, personally I like to align shapes myself. So I'm going to select, say, this, hold the shift key, though you can hold the control key as well, so if you prefer the control key or the shift key, that's fine. But what I want to do is align these shapes to the leftmost shape. And the way I like to do it is to press the key, the function key, F8. When I press F8, I get this Align Shapes window, and I really want to go for this type of alignment here, so all these shapes line up horizontally to the left. So I'll click this button, and I'll click OK. The same with these ones. I might first move them over a little bit, so they're more balanced on the page. I'm just using my right arrow, because it's a nice way to just nudge things over, and I'll just press F8, and I'll align those to the right. These two here, I might align those, so I'll press F8 and align them through the center. Now I need to make sure that the distance between these shapes is equal, so I'll click this shape, hold the shift and click the other shapes. This time I'm going to go to the position button in my arrange group on my home tab in the window. And what I want to do here is I want to space the shapes and I need to space them vertically. So I'll click Space Vertically, and now I know that they are exactly the same distance apart. And then I can do it to these ones. And in fact, what I'd prefer to do, I think, is hold the Shift key, pick up these two, and align these two to the bottom, because that would make more sense. Now 
Now these three, I need to know that their equidistance is the same. So I'm going to go back to the position, back to the spacing options, and I'm going to, oh sorry, space shapes, and I'm going to space them horizontally, distribute them horizontally. And now I know they're exactly right, and then these two, I'll press F8, and I'll put them to the right. So F8 is a great way to align, but you can go to the position button as well and align. But as far as vertical and horizontal spacing, you definitely want to go to the position button. Um, but you also have the auto align and space button as well.